Hey guys, Mata Bronze here, and as you can see, I got a new headset. I'm going to be using these a lot more than my other one, which I have in every video. So, rip, old headset, well, headphones, whatever you can call them. Let's have a moment of silence for our lost friend. Okay, but other than that, um, we're back somewhere, well, playing somewhere, the game. Um, all I remember is she was stuck in the back of a car and she was trying to get out. Other than that, I don't know what happened. Um, for her to respond, remember, it does have a you know, time, someone could take an hour. It did take like three hours till she actually responded, well, the text message responded, responded back. I don't know, couldn't say that. So, let's get back to that and... See what's up with her. On that, let's get to that video. So here we are. Um, I'm not sure how the lighting is or anything, but camera over here. I'm looking down here. But so it looks like this is where we left off. The car is slowing down. Go. And Cat is busy when she's running. So I'm gonna start off with Cat. I shook him off. I don't even know how I managed to do that. When I jumped out of the trunk, the car stopped instantly, and two henchmen got out. I had never run that fast before, as if I were in a kind of trance. I guess that's the survival instinct. Yeah, like moms lifting cars for their kid underneath. The stuff real. Uh, my heart is still beating super fast. Uh, but now I'm completely lost. I better not uh, stick around. I'm on Sambizi Strays. I might look that up. I don't know. Can you find that street at Google Maps? Why is that always highlighted? And try to give me a landmark that I could use. Baltimore Garden. Wait. Can I actually look this up? Wait, give me a second. I'm going to get my computer on. and I'm actually going to look right here. So, here we are. And this one has a B. It has two S's. I'm not exactly sure if it's actually a place. Well, that's the park around it. Um, a Christmas store. And a bunch of other places. I see a park. But I don't think it actually, it's actually a real place. But, um, landmark. I looked on Google Maps. Museum, garden, and your quarters. I would search these, but I'm not going to, so... I wonder if you could really pick any of them. She'd be like, yeah, I see it. So let's go. I don't know. What sounds like the closest? Vol Spark. Behebarge. I'm going to click this one. I don't know. You're n Great. I should find my way. I thought I'd never make it. I could have done it without you. Thank you so much. I mean it. By the way, I don't even know your name. I'm Kat, but you know it's a, it's already. What about you? Oh, I have a name now. I am named. Um, I don't know what to put my name. Uh. What's that? Uh, what's oh, I'm trying to think of mo Terminator. I'll say Terminator. Nah, I'll just put Andrew. Do something plain. Uh, please to meet you, Andrew. Uh, wait, call me something else. <laughs> call me something else. Uh, so am I. Wait, meet me or you? Well, I'll arrive at the vet. What? I'll keep in touch once I fix up, and then I'll explain what's going on. Oh, so she found... I don't know. Well, she's busy again once more. So I shall be back when she is not busy no more. And that... See you in a few seconds. So here we are back. It's actually been, like, quite a bit of time. Like... An hour? Um... And... Right now you don't see it, but... There's more. So, am I bright enough? 
Hopefully. Okay. Here we go. It cost me a few stitches. Nothing serious. Oh, hi, Cody. Don't mind him. Uh, well, I think I owe you some explanations. I guess all this must look pretty shady to you. Uh, I'm going to try to tell you what happened to me over the past few days. Days? It's been hours here. Um, although I don't clearly understand all that's going on myself. Anyway, here are the facts. I'm a journalist. They get in trouble a lot. I keep getting out of view. Um, for Cultural Magazine... I receive a mysterious letter a week ago. It only contains a USB stick with wedding pictures written on it. But when I looked into it, there was no pictures. It was full of work documents. At this time, I thought it was just a mistake. Then three days later, I received a very weird email from Andrew, a childhood friend. I was supposed to meet him yesterday, but he postponed our appointment at the last minute. Is it a coincidence I ch picked Andrew? Tell me what about tell me more about Andrew. What is in these documents? What happened next? I want to know what's in these documents. It was a bunch of documents which seemed to have no links whatsoever. There were thousands of them apparently coming from some company listing charts, summary tables, email discussions, etc. But I got confused when I recognized Andrew's handwriting on the envelope and the stick. Then there was this email. There was something wrong. He wrote that it was an emergency and he was flying to Berlin because somebody had died in his family and that he was hoping to meet them there but he has no family here what uh tell me about andrew what happened next yeah tell me who andrew is may as well get all the questions out of the way right andrew is a researcher although i don't really know what he is into bi biology genetics and kind of stuff like that i guess he barely talks about it but when he's questioned about his work he usually says it's too confidential to be discussed. What does he work? Where does he work? Like animals, genetic, yeah, where does he work? Like how far exactly? In Northern uh, Europe, laboratory either in Norway or maybe Sweden. I never remember. Hold on a sec. Okay, it was nothing. Where was I? What do you mean, hold on? Oh, yeah. Thereafter, I started feeling feeling spied on i thought i was getting uh paranoid but there was definitely something shady in all of this yeah shortly after the caretaker of the building where i live came to me and asked me whether i had noticed anything strange going on in the neighborhood according to him a pervert was spying on me or my next door neighbor that is when i received a text from andrew saying our meeting had to be uh postponed and asking me to be cautious he was also asked me not to lose the wedding photos. It was too much for me. I took the... Stop! Jeez. I took the USB key, left my apartment, and settled out at a hotel. I even left my car and my mobile behind. I just bought a disposable phone. You know, those basic devices with... You know. Jeez. This is why, no offense to girls, but you type too much. Like, I said one thing. One thing, and I know I asked, but jeez. Uh, reasons for asking me, the wiki, how, search, what, oh wait, whatever. But you will still be watched, right? I see, I, I see, so, yeah. Um, but you were still being watched, right? I'm going to say I see just to move along. We already know what happened next. Yeah. The man in black came out. I tried to contact Andrew several times, but didn't get any answer. He had given me a name and a number to call in case of any issues. Oran 603-801-2298. What? 
And you're the one who answered the phone. Why didn't you call the police? Do you know this Orion guy? That's my number. That is not my number. Close. Um, which one should I say? Do you know this Orion guy? I thought it was me at first. No, not at all. N no, not at all. I don't know who he is, and I just never heard about him so far. Anyway, it seems Andrews trusts him. I'd like to go to the police. But Andrew warned me against going to the police in his last text message. Oh, he didn't explain why, but I think he was worried about being charged with stealing confidential documents of business secrets. It's almost time for my meeting with Andrew, by the way. I should learn more about all this. I'll keep you updated, but hopefully you'll be able to read this in the newspaper on your own. Anyways, thanks again for your help. I shouldn't bother you again now. Take care, Andrew. If you ever uh, drop by Berlin, let me know and I'll buy you a drink. I owe you one. It's the least I can do. You saved my life. Is this the end? Or is there more? Something I'm guessing is going to happen, but I do not know what. I guess I'm going to end this video here. Truth be told, I don't know if this is the end. If this is the end, I guess we'll have to restart it and click different options. But I didn't think that was going to go that quick, to be honest. That actually went by really fast. Um, I don't know what to say. Well, that's somewhere. Somewhere, somehow, this just ended like that. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, I'm not sure if this is the end or is it going to continue. So stay tuned until next week. But I hope you like this video. I'm definitely enjoying it. A whole crap load of reading, and I'm not that great at reading. I literally answer, say one thing. I wish it was a more interactive where I could say multiple sentences at once. Um, but I'm wondering if this, like, how, I picked Andrew out of nowhere, and it just happens that there's another Andrew. I'm going to get this game on a different device and then put a different name and see if it'll give me Andrew. But other than that, I hope you like this video. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to say, but I hope you like this video. And stay sharp.